What's up, spectators? Welcome back to the episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. We are speaking with Director Cosmos. La uh, last episode, we talked about how he, at in the middle of the night, switched the two rooms because of a threat made via phone that about the bomb. And he worked with Clay Terran and told him the plan until he was stabbed, which was not part of the plan. I feel like I did a pretty bad job summarizing that, but you know, you know. Oh, oh yeah, we're, we were also talking about how the capsule was actually stolen. The capsule was being held in a safe in Launchpad 1. But I gave it to Terran before the incident so it wouldn't be destroyed in the explosion. The idea was that, with it safely in Terran's possession, he could make it look like he rescued it during the stage miraculous escape. But our precious research materials ended up lost to that explosion anyway. But I thought Clay was supposed to keep it safe. You misunderstand. The launch pad explosion wasn't the one the capsule was lost to. It was lost after the police confiscated it as evidence. <gasps> the courtroom bombing! It was the courtroom bombing from the other day. The capsule was there in the courtroom as evidence and was blown to smithereens! Yet another casualty of that blast. Ultimately, I think the culprit may have known about switching of the launch pads. How? The police found a wiretapping device during their investigation today. A bug aboard my battleship? A tap on my advanced communication system? A wire on that phone? Yes, a wire on this very phone. I used this phone to give instructions to my staff about the launch pad switch. Just to the few select members who knew about the plan. Just before the incident, staff members were coming in and out of Launchpad 1. The culprit probably slipped in with them amid the confusion. And planted the bomb then. Yes, if they were tapping your phone, they definitely could pull something like that off. So you really think the same spy is behind this incident and the one seven years ago? Yes, I'm sure of it. Then, this spy must be the phantom Prosecutor Blackwell has been chasing. But Prosecutor Blackwell told me once... The hunt I've been on for the Phantom of seven years past continues even still. For starters, that case happened right here at this very space center, too. So if we can find this Phantom... That's right. We can clear Athena's name. And then there's the matter of Prosecutor Blackwell, too. What about him? Well, if the culprit of seven years ago is the same person as in the current incident, it would mean Prosecutor Blackwell is innocent. That's still an if, though. Oh man, it's crazy. We're gonna get to talk to what's her face, Pearly, because she told him the premonition. She told um, Cosmos. But uh, that's weird that we're not talking about it. I wonder how dangerous that guy would be in court without handcuffs. But if we're going on a ghost hunt, count me in. <laughs> it's all over for me. Spin, spin, Do you think he's going to be all right, Daddy? Well, at least he'll be in good company. There must be planets out there he can spin with. Which reminds me, I'd like to delve a little deeper into the Hat One mission too. If you want to learn more, start with the Space Museum. There's a Hat One exhibit there. Oh, don't mind me. I'll just keep spinning here and see how the cosmos unfolds. He died five minutes later. It's like he achieved spiritual enlightenment or something. I'm sure he'll stop when he gets dizzy. Let's go visit the space museum. Spin forever. Spin for the rest of time. Have we? we yeah, we've been to the museum. We met that cute robot. Let's see, where's the exhibit on the launch seven years ago? There, that's the Hat One exhibit. <clears throat> oh wow, look at that photo of the team. I'm telling you, that chick on the right was the one who died, but we don't know who that is yet. 
There's Clay, Starbuck, Director Cosmos, Aura Blackwell, and even Panko. But I've never seen the woman on the right before. Everybody looks so happy! Well, except for Director Cosmos. It's because he's too cool. Let's check out the newspaper article, too. Hat 1 launch imminent. And there's a photo of the Hope Space Probe. I guess it's only natural it doesn't talk about the murder or the sabotage. They really were keeping it a secret, just like the director said. Ah. Daddy, take a look at that jacket. It must be the Hat 1 team's uniform jacket. It's the same design as the one Apollo was wearing. The one that belonged to Clay. Actual jacket worn by a Hat 1 team member, it says. Not a replica, huh? I wonder if it was Mr. Starbucks. Hat 1 exhibit newspaper clipping, a photo of the people involved with the launch, and a jacket one of them wore. <clears throat> Hello? What? What are you doing here? Get out! You were in two cases! You have no business being here again! What brings you here? Oh wait! Oh! Didn't I give her- didn't I give Junie such a ridiculous voice back- back in the first few episodes? Like, I had Tina got arrested! I've been looking- No, that was Jinxy! That's what it was, I'm sorry. Okay. I think I gave her a regular voice. I thought you might be here at the scene. You must be so worried, but rest assured, I'm going to do my very best to defend her. Thine is going through such a hard time. I hope she doesn't lose heart. Even just coming back to this place must have been really difficult for her. And then I'm going to say, what? Back? She's been here before? Derp. You mean the Cosmo Space Center? What? You didn't know? She used to live here when she was a little girl. She did? No, I didn't know. No wonder she knew so much. Miss Woods, could you tell me more in detail? Athena and the Space Center. Athena's mom worked here. That, that's probably who it was, Athena's mom, who died. If I remember right, she was a doctor of psychology or something like that. But why was a psychology specialist working at a space... Space... I don't really know. But I do know that she lived and worked here, so Athena lived here too. So it was far from Athena's first time here. I wonder why she didn't mention it. She probably didn't want to talk about it. This place is connected to a very sad memory for her. Sad memory. A sad memory. Can you tell me about it? There was a terrible incident here. It was seven years ago. The same time frame as the Hat 1 launch. Athena's mom. In the robotics lab. With a hammer. No, that's, that wasn't a clue weapon. With a, with a gun? Yeah, there was a gun. Candlestick! That's one. And a rope! What else was there? Hmm, I don't know. She was... Well, I, I really... I should not have been so distracted for this line. She was murdered. But... After it happened, Thena stopped coming to school. Poor Thena. And all this time, she never let on at all. I was so worried about her. I came here so many times hoping to see her. That'd be awesome living in a space center. But I never saw her again. Creepy music plays. After a while, we started exchanging letters. But I didn't get to see her face to face for seven long years. And so the first time you'd seen her in seven years was during Professor Court's case. That's right. And I was so surprised. She was like a completely different person. So cheerful and happy. Young Athena. What was Athena like as a child? She was very sensitive and kind. She didn't talk very much. She liked to draw and paint at home. That's completely different from the Athena we know now. I can't even picture it. She never left the Space Center much because... 
She was very sensitive to other people's emotions. When she went to crowded places, she'd get dizzy from all the emotions flying around. It must be hard to hear people's hearts as well as their voices. She always wore these big, heavy-looking headphones. She said her mother made them for her, as part of her research. I wonder what kind of research it was. Because of her special ability, Dina couldn't handle being in school very often. And I was always out sick because of my weak constitution. Maybe that's why we became such good friends. We used to play together here at the Space Center a lot. It brings back memories. Sounds like Athena's mother played a big role here at the Space Center. Oh, Daddy, show her that picture. That a girl. Good idea. What? Oh, oh, the picture with the, uh, with all the space people. Do, 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 do. Miss Woods, could you take a look at this for me? Oh, look! There's Athena's mom. The woman on the far right, the one in the kimono. That's Dr. Metis Sykes? Metis? Hold on. Metis Sykes. If there's a pun in here. Metis Sykes. Metis Sykes. Met Metis Sykes? I'll just say Dr. Sykes. Athena's mother... Athena's mother's murder. Wow, that's weird. Okay. Did it by any chance have any connection to Hat One Launch? What? Why, yes, it did. As I recall, it happened on the day before the launch. The lunch. Just as I suspected. But that wasn't the worst of it. Oh, one of my staff members was murdered. So this is the murder Director Cosmos was talking about. Does that mean that the crime Prosecutor Blackwell was convicted of is the murder of Athena's mother? There's a chance her death is somehow connected to the current case. There is? Thank you for all your help, Miss Woods, and please try not to worry. I won't let anything happen to Athena. Thank you, Mr. Wright. I know you'll take good care of her. That was a bit of a serious moment for the past couple minutes. So we need to investigate the robotics lab and also talk to Athena. We've got our plates full, Daddy. I hope we can fit it all in before the day is through. The it is so weird for a grown man to be using the word daddy so frequently. It's creeping me out, man. I'm getting creeped out. We have to see Athena before visiting hours are over. So you're saying we should visit... Oh, okay. You'll do it for me. All right. I was going to go to the robotics lab first, but that's cool. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, Phoenix. Even though I'm the one playing, you can do that. Well, if it isn't Mr. Lawyer, fancy meeting you here. Oh, hello, Detective Fulbright, here on business. Any second. Banap. To tell the truth, I'm here to interview Ted Tonate. The one behind the courtroom bombing incident. He suddenly said he's ready to tell the truth about the case. And what he was saying was so incredible. I just had to come right over to hear more. Incredible? What was he saying? Why don't you hang around it here for yourself? Really? Us? You think we got the time, Fulbright, when you could tell me when I'm right in front of you? <laughs> I give you special permission. Here comes the bomber now. It's been a while. It's been a long time since I've seen this guy. August? September? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna remember what voice I gave him. I probably did a robot thing for a while, and then I stopped. What nerve you have to come here! You're here to laugh at me, I suppose? Like I waste my breath on you. After all, you're the one who assaulted Apollo and put him in the hospital. Violence? No. Question? Okay. No violence? Too bad Apollo didn't get a chance to say that before you attacked him. Aye. Fine, then just answer me this, Mr. Tonate. What is this truth of yours about the courtroom you blew up? No, I didn't do it! I didn't blow up the courtroom! When I killed Detective Arm, there was another person in the room. What you talking about? Who else could have been there? Da, da, da. I saw it, I tell ya! I saw someone's hand as they were stealing the remote switch. 
This person was there and witnessed the murder I committed. What? I don't know who it was. But that's who blew up the courtroom. You expect us to buy that. Easy there, Trucy. I don't see any Cyclops. So I guess he must not be lying. Pardon me. I got a little carried away. But I'm telling you the truth. I did not detonate that bomb. And there you have it. We can't exactly ignore his claims, of course, so we're doing a follow-up. We're even analyzing the bomb itself, or what's left of it. Oh, more evidence. Good. At some point, I'm gonna need to be able to recognize something from here, probably. I wonder if I can right now. I don't think so. No. Maybe 7k? Maybe that's supposed to be something, but I don't know. Wow, they've laid it out all piece by piece. Oh, look at all those beautiful little pieces. I... I wish I could have them. Uh-oh. Looks like his Geek Switch has been activated. That's a really cool power. Geek Switch, activate! Whoa! A phony phantom bomb is back in evidence. Never thought you'd be back. It was found in boarding lounge one and detonated in courtroom number four. Okay. Well, I hope you're ready for Prosecutor Blackwell's special brand of questioning. <laughs> ah, anything but that. Yes. That. I'm afraid I have to be off now, too. I was just about to question Miss Sykes. You're gonna see Athena now? That's right. Oh, did you folks come to see her? Sorry for the trouble, but could you come back later? Well, off I go! You dick! I knew I shouldn't have stuck around listening to- God, now I gotta go back to the robotics lab, and then I gotta come back here! What bad timing indeed, Phoenix, you say it. Looks like we'll have to wait until after her questioning is over to see her. And after we came all this way! Well, I guess it's back to the space center. Let's go check out the robotics lab. Father. That's much better. Alright, sounds like a plan. It's just, I can't, I can't do it. I can't. Let's go, daddy! Eh! I can't do it. It's, it's too much for me. I'm, you know what? It's gonna get manlier and manlier by the end it'll be. Thank you, father! Robotics lab, go. That is one ugly robot. This must be what's her face's hangout. What's it? Aura, that's it. So this is the robotics lab. Looks like it's exactly one floor above the boarding lounge. Let's see. Yep. All right, got it. And where people were directed to evacuate from via the emergency ladder. This is where Athena's mother was killed seven years ago. Speaking of someone who works with robots. Father, look over there. Got to re-get, get, re-get? Get, re Got to get some man points back. I spent them all. Ooh, with this music, I feel like I have to give him a sort of like, noir detective. So they plan to use this bag to carry the capsule, is that right? Yeah, more or less. Say, why don't we stop talking about the case and have a nice cup of tea instead? She likes that dark and brooding Apollo. Apollo and Aura Blackwill? I wonder what they're talking about. Going on a hot date? Well, well, come to spoil our fun just when I was enjoying our alone time. Trucy and Mr. Wright. If it's Apollo you want, you can't have him. He said he's investigating on his own. And I respect his wishes. We just came to investigate this lab. Well, this is my lab, so you'll need my permission if you want to do any snooping. And it's been 19 and a half minutes, so stay tuned tomorrow for the next episode. Yes, where I can try and redeem some more man points. Bye-bye! They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side! Faster! Faster! 